So I could do one of two things. I could go and level up a bit, but I do want to check out this mart because there is a lot of interesting stuff here. Good bargain buying. Uh, stuff at lower prices. There's a phone number that uh, I want to say it's a uh, camper Todd that gives you advice about um, sales that happen. So it's an interesting phone number to get, but uh, I'm not going to get that number. But Gold Rod Department Store is really cool because each floor sells different items. Like on this floor you have basic healing. Uh, I don't think I want any of that. Uh, this guy sells Pokeballs. I think he sells all... No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh... How many do I want? I'm gonna buy... Five. I don't want to buy too much because there's some other things I'd like to get. Um, where is X Attack? I don't need that. Because there are more attractions in Goldenrod, it's just I haven't gone to them uh, up to 10 phone numbers. And in a way, some of these attractions require having a lot of money. Uh, this part uh, makes me realize big city selection unmatched anywhere else, you know, except... And he's also unmatched too. Burn and go. Grace Trainer. Okay, yeah, I get it. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, anyway. Oh yeah, I, I think you can read these uh, for Victory Seekers Battle Collection. I th think this is the HM, or the TM? Or no, 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 this is the battle items, not the TMs. So I think he... Okay, yeah. If you want X items, this is your stop to go. So if you want to do solo runs, this is the best place to do it. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. Throat's kind of a bit hoarse and stuff. Okay, and on this floor, uh, this shopkeeper will sell, I believe, vitamins. As far as I check, yes. These are really expensive, but they do give... I want to say they give effort points in later games, so there's like... I, I forgot how it works, so it's like a certain number of points in the early gens in order to give your Pokémon stats in each of the categories. Back then, they didn't have Zinc because it was only Calcium since the special stats um, were combined. Yeah, you just mentioned Protein for, uh, what's it called? Uh, attack, Iron for Defense. Some Pokémon evolve via uh, Trade Cable. And he mentioned some of the basic four trade evolutions. Uh, most of them I have used in some form, but others I haven't quite used before. Uh, this guy, can't rename Pokemon to get in a trade. Name is reflection of the origina original trainer's feelings for it, which is very much true because this guy. I collect Pokemon. Do you have an Abra? Want to trade from a chop? So. This is another one of those evolution, or I'm sorry, trades where uh, there's a gym that it's really handy for, but you need to catch a, either a rare Pokemon or a very common one that they can't catch for some reason. I mean, with the Onyx kid back in Violet, I could kind of understand, but uh, yeah. Uh, that, that girl mentioned on Sundays, there will be a woman right here where if you show her your Pokemon, if you have a certain uh, friendship value, she will give you one of two TMs. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a Sunday, so we don't have it. Oh, this girl. Mystery gift. With just a little beep, you get a gift. Talking to her unlocks a mystery gift option at the main menu before you like select either continue, new game, or options. And like each day, based on the timer, you can get a random gift. Some are useful, some are just kind of like Pokemon dolls, which are kind of cute in their own right, but uh, I'm not going to be able to show that off here. This guy is who we wanted to see. He sells a bunch of TMs, and, or, okay, bunch of TMs, by that I mean four, I guess. And these are some really good TMs. Electric Punch, which, okay, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, 
and Ice Punch. The Pokémon I'm using mostly will not be able to use any of these. However, because we have a Magby, we can actually get two TMs, but there's only one TM that I really would like to get, but I'm going to save it for right now. Instead, I'm going to grab TM2. And if you already remember, that is Headbutt. I am giving this directly to Taj, because... Wait. Taj? Oh, I already gave it to him. Never mind. Uh, no, I'm giving this to Medusa. Because Headbutt is massively better than Tackle, and I just clicked OK without even thinking about it. But that, that, that's OK. That's double the power and definitely can use that. I would buy the Thunder Punch TM, but I'm going to opt against that. Because I want to get more money. Hey, let me talk to you. Do you listen to Lucky Channel? If you want to win, trade Pokemon as many people as possible to get different ID numbers. I'll explain that when we actually uh, get to the lottery. If you're feeling tired, try the vending machines. Pokemon will love them. These vending machines are really cool. You can buy fresh water, lemonade, and soda pop. Fresh water recovers 50 HP, and they are infinitely better than super potions. So I'm going to cut and buy some healing items here. Maybe not too many, at least not right now. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to buy any soda pop or lemonade because there's no reason to right now. Um, was that the last floor? I think... Oh, no, 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 wait, that's just the sixth floor. Uh, the rooftop. I was thinking, hey, some trainers are battling on the road. Pokemon fired a flurry of leaves. That makes me feel like battling right now. I've never actually seen anything from that telescope before because I, I've never clicked it. And... Okay, sure, jerk. Now this rooftop is actually kind of interesting because if you come here during certain days, you can have a bargain sale. Um, does this guy do anything? Oh, he's he must be doing some botany, okay. I, I was like confused, what's he doing? Is he getting ready for the blowout sale or something? but that's besides the point. Um, there is one more thing we want to do at the shop, and we're going to head straight to the basement floor, because there is something we can do before uh, we leave. And we have the warehouse. Literal Walmart. So it's interesting that he says works behind the scenes, because these crates are actually movable, Mainly because of this guy. A macho. It's literal Walmart. I mean, pretty much everybody's gotta do whatever they can to... I just realized all these guys have different colored backpacks. That's kind of interesting. The RGB crew. So in order to get these items, we have to go up and down some floors in order to get them to move behind the scenes. And we can get, I think, three of these items. We can't get the fourth one, which is unfortunate because it's a really good hold item. But for now, we can get a Ultra Ball. This is the best, supposedly best Pokeball that we can use for catching Pokemon that aren't Kurt's uh, orbs, which didn't really do anything. But of course the best one is the ultra rare, not ultra, Master Ball that we'll be getting much later in the game. But for now we just loot the place. They don't worry about a 10 year old crawling into the back room where all the uh, unloading and shipping happens. I have been there before, since I, I used to be a quality control person back in the day, which was like 10 years ago, but 
Anyway, uh, we had an ether and a burn heal, which is all, all nice. I don't think I talked about ethers. If I did, then you can ignore me. Ethers can restore 10 power points to a selected move that you in in or out of battle, and it's pretty helpful because like there's some moves that have very little power points. And you'll definitely want to save those since you can't exactly buy them. Uh, what else did I have? I will also do some cutting if... Oh yeah, let's move this up to the top. There we go. Oh yeah, there was this uh, playground that I never showed, uh, the Game Corner. So this is a pretty special place because you can you can gamble in slots, and I think that's it. Unfortunately, we can't do anything since we don't have a game case. The main attraction for this place is you can buy items. I wait, is this the place? I don't. Uh... Okay, were these two shops? Okay, one of them was. Well, anyway, we need to get a coin case because otherwise we can't really check out items and everything here. And fortunately, the place we need to go is right around here. But first, one big town. I don't even know where anything is. Just like the guy that didn't know where the bike shop was. But this is the underground entrance, and it's kind of a scary music with the cave music, kind of. But there's also trainers. It's scary down there. <laughs> Pretty much all these guys are trainers, and this is probably the best time to fight them. Uh, does Taj have... Yeah, Taj has a pink bow, and I want to give this to Medusa, if I can. Because pretty much the only thing she's going to do is headbutt everything imaginable. And I think she'll be decent here. I'm trying to remember what this guy has. Got booted out of the game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. How do you cheat with Pokemon in slots? Well, it's easy if... You're a super nerd, Eric. And you're a Grimer. I don't remember if I talked about Grimer, but this is a poison Pokemon that I do like. Mainly because of Ash's... Um, muck in the anime, which didn't really have the most screen time, but it had some really cool moments. Unfortunately, the problem with Grimer is that in... Oh my god, that actually did a lot of damage. But so did that. <laughs> I'm already liking Medusa. And he has another Grimer, which... Actually, maybe I could get a second level here and is actually faster. Oh, and a flinch. Wow. I am so glad I gave you headbutt. I wonder if you get a move here. I know Medusa is supposed to get, like, lick and bite during one of these early levels. I think lick is supposed to come up next. Uh, what did you have? I think you had a very rare Pokemon, but I'm going to find out. My Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Naturally, it's si style that wins the day, but this Pokenerd has a pretty rare and, I guess, interesting Pokemon in later games, but also, if you remember the anime, Lickitung. Kind of a Pokemon I don't really care much about. Licky Licky's weird as well. Also, this Lickitung has cut for some reason, but that's besides the point. As far as I remember, Lickitung's a pretty slow Pokemon, kinda tanky with a lot of HP, at least from what I remember. Yeah, like, Razor Leaf did almost nothing to it. But if I can get a crit, I think I can KO this Lickitung right here. Which I didn't. Okay. Okay, good, I didn't get the uh, 
95% or 5% miss, as I should say. <gasps> yes! Tetra levels up, and I think we are going to see something special, finally. Aye! Yes, he is crying aye because that is what he's going to find out right now. That is the special evolution music, and in seconds, with all sorts of bubble bobbles around, Tetra has evolved into a Bayleaf. I love Bayleaf because of the Pokemon anime when Ash got a Bayleaf. I don't remember if he had... No, he did have Chikorita, that's right. But he never got Meganium. That's the coin case. So, now that we have a Bayleaf, I'm gonna... its stats just jumped up quite a bit. I mean, look at those defenses. I mean, if you compare it to Fanfi, who's unevolved, well, okay, defense is like nine points different. Special is pretty good, and its attacks are kind of meddling and stuff, but did its HP? No, it didn't. But yeah, that's evolution. Either it happens via levels, it'll happen for um, evolution stones, trade, or some other instances that I can't quite think of at the time. But So this underground place has some interesting um, day mechanics here. Like, sometimes you will find haircut people. This guy runs the salon, he, and this guy, because it's a Thursday, um, yeah, it's two days past. Uh, when I last recorded because some things came up. Um, this is the older of the hairstylists, and by giving your Pokemon haircuts, you boost their happiness. I'm giving one to Val because the higher I get his happiness, the more ready he will be, I should say. And I want to get Valvatorce's uh, happiness to a certain point because he will be very useful later on. Um, but we're still a little ways before he evolves. Uh, this guy has rare Pokemon. Are you the juggler? Okay, no, you're Donald. You do not have... You have opposite of the Pokemon I was hoping for. Okay, never mind. You are... Definitely not the person. Uh, well, let's send in Val. Like, this Slowpoke could have Confusion, but I have Bite and Leech Life. Okay, it uses Growl. It's not gonna do anything if I just use Bite. I may start cutting battles that I've kind of done before with certain Pokémon. This being one of those cases. Oh. Oh wow, he gives 600 uh, Poke Dollars. That's actually interesting. But this is the guy I was thinking of. Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Now, this is a trainer that I think I can get some good EXP for... Um... Oh no, this guy is Super Nerd. Okay. This guy has Electric Pokemon, and depending on when you come here, this is actually your first taste of Steel-type Pokemon. Now, in the original game, Magnemite was only an electric type, but they eventually introduced Steel to kind of counteract, um, what's it called? Uh, psychic types. And back then, they would only have a weakness to ground, but now Steel types, they have three weaknesses in, uh, fire, goddammit, uh, fighting and, uh, ground. Okay, this Voltorb probably has, um, it could have Sonic Boom, so, let's bring in Medusa. If it does have Sonic Boom, then so be it. No, it just has Tackle, which does almost nothing except it got a crit. Voltorb's another uh, electric Pokemon that I do like, but I do like Magneton more probably because of some old anime episodes of old. Okay, that was kind of redundant. Old episodes of old. I should have just said 2000 anime movie old. 
Except that made no sense, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm going to hit it with a headbutt, because I don't want to switch into a Thunderbolt and not KO this thing. But now, it's like, as far as Magnemite and the Voltorb line, they kind of end up being along those lines of not very liked Pokemon because inanimate objects reasoning, and personally I just don't think much of that because every generation has an inanimate object, and I don't believe even for a sec that it's like, oh, you need to stop doing it just because I said so. I just don't believe in that kind of thing. But you might be wondering, what other Pokemon are you going to be adding to your team? Well, it's still going to be a while before we can actually um, get any new Pokemon. Or, I mean, we could, but they're not Pokemon I want. But as far as the potential, there is a Pokemon I do want to add, but I don't know if I'm going to include it. Because of Kudelka being on here. Yep, that was hot stuff, and you got burned for it, sir. So, this area is kind of changed in the uh, remake. Back here is an uh, area of no return, or no point of entry, I should say. But it's locked. We can technically get back here, but there is also supposed to be, like in the original, or no, the remake, it's supposed to be a photo shoot. I won't say much about that yet. This challenge is a little downstairs. It's rough down there, you better be careful. And yeah, that's pretty much that. all that needs to be said. This is the name raider. This is what I was talking about. If there's Pokemon that you want to nickname, you can change it whenever you want, as long as they're not Pokemon you trade it for. Because as the guy mentioned, there's an attachment and you don't want to like ruin that. Sort of like how you don't want to like mess with something you borrow from somebody because they would naturally get angry at you if you tampered. I'm gonna stop right there because I did some stupid things back then.